Okay. I'm Dennis Welsenbach, president of Wilbur Funeral Services. And yeah, Wilbur's been in business since 1880. Uh, started as a burial vault company in Chicago, and in the late 20s uh, became a, a licensed uh, network. Uh, Mr. Wilbert Haas started a uh, licensed network then, and it grew so that all the United States and the southern tier of Canada has a Wilbert licensee uh, who has the territory to provide a burial vault to those customers in that, in that area. So we're standing right here in front of a burial vault cover. This is what this is exactly a cover. That's what we refer to it as. Okay. This is a stainless steel triune, which has stainless steel interior to the vault, and this carapace is stainless steel. Alongside, uh, along with the underside of this, is stainless steel. This is a legacy print. <laughs> it's customized for his family uh -huh. uh, who has lost Neil Morrison, as you can see here. It's uh, nobody. Uh, that we know is just a name. Uh, but in addition to the, these are manufactured locally by 194 licensees around North America and then delivered to the cemetery. We also, in some cases, dig a grave, uh, open and close. We'll set up a tent, chairs, and then we have a lowering device. This is a Wilbert Way lowering device. This device lowers the vault into the ground. But the other thing it does that's unique is we seal this vault above ground. So it's clean and clear, and the, and the burial vault has a plastic liner and has a butyl seal around it to, to seal it, to keep any, anything, any uh, elements out of it. Also, this is a, a lowering device for a casket. Mm -hmm. This will lower the casket into the vault. And it's kind of a, it's used to show uh, the family and uh, give them the final uh, closure at the cemetery. So after after whatever might be done by the ministers or the family has their say, this casket is lowered in the vault. This casket lowering device, we manufacture both of these devices in Chicago. This is removed, this cover is brought up and closed. And then the whole uh, casket and vault is lowered into the grave. Backfilled, tents, tents taken down, etc. And uh, our customer service rep then cleans everything up and goes back to do it again the next day. Uh, so this is done by us over half a million times a year, all around the United States and Canada. In, uh, I guess in the last 20, 30 years, Wilbur's gone through some changes, uh, ownership changes, but we still uh, remain dedicated to the industry. But what we've had to do with the uh, I guess the surge in cremation, which is over one and a half percent per year, we've had a look to diversify. So in our diversification efforts, we've gone into different uh, allied products to the cemetery and uh, funeral business. We have an embalmy chemical company in, in, in Dallas, Texas, Pierce Chemical, and uh, produce a variety of chemicals for embalming. But we actually sell 1,800 products. Uh, and it can, can be thread, it can be cotton, it can be needles. We manufacture a patented embalming machine, which is used throughout the United States, uh, and other uh, products for the embalming room. The other thing we are into since cremation is uh, uh, so prevalent in 50% of what we do, we have an urn, a concrete urn ball, plastic urn ball. We have an array of urns. We have an on-site uh, place you can go to design your own urn and we'll laser engrave it, put it in a box and send it to you. Now, we don't deal with public, we only deal business to business, so that process has to go through your funeral home. Um, another thing that uh, we do is sell an array of caskets. Uh, we go by the name of Signet Supply. We have about 50 different variety of caskets. 40% of those are made domestically, 60% are imported. Uh, and they go from a high-end metal product to a low-end cloth covered uh, and cremation containers as well. Uh, if you want to kind of wander over here this corner, uh, we sell all kinds of monuments. Uh, single monuments, uh, benches, we do veteran memorials, we do uh, uh, columbariums, which is sold primarily to cemeteries, which uh, are, this is a community columbarium. 
So a cemetery would purchase this, put it on, and they would sell each one of these slots. Typically they're 12 inch by 12 inch by 12 inch. This particular one has an opening, and in the center there's a common uh, burial called ossuary, and uh, the cemetery, and we usually give them velvet bags, put those in there, and you can inscribe names around here for those that are in the ossuary. It is worth noting this is a miniature model. So this is absolutely a miniature. <laughs> yeah. We have many miniatures around here. Here are some of the things we've done. This, this is a community uh, mausole, uh, columbarium. This is a private columbarium uh, that you have at your gravesite. So, different things. We also have a construction company. We inter uh, what's called a double depth lawn crib. That's a concrete container with a shelf in the middle. You can put two bodies in, two casketed bodies. Uh, the Veterans Administration has been our largest customer in the last uh, 15 years. We probably do 20 to 40,000 of those a year for the Veterans Administration, along with a similar amount of columbarium. You'll see in this array of pictures a um, project or two that we've done around the United States. Our construction division will go coast to coast, and, and we have three crews that do this uh, all year round. Catholic Cemetery, private mausoleum. We manufacture those in concrete, clad them with granite. We so do indoor glass uh, dishes. We sell those to churches. Uh, inside some mausoleums that have, uh, they've reused. Here's a veteran columbarium. And that's definitely a growing area. Uh, this is one in Missouri. That was in Missouri, outside of Springfield, Missouri. Uh -huh. uh, here's one in Bourne National Cemetery. It's in uh, Cape Cod, I believe. Uh, Florida National Cemetery. So we do a lot of work. All that work is done by our crews. That's great. Let's uh, move around here for a minute and stand back. This is uh, Pierce Colleges. We own three, or uh, let's say we operate three non for profit. Uh, mortuary Science Colleges graduate about 300 students a year. Each college has its own. Uh, Tony Wallace uh, over there is our president in Atlanta. Uh, but uh, Lee Gorman here is a uh, one of our teachers in Mid-America and outside of Louisville. Um, and these are schools where people would go to become funeral directors. Exclusively uh, funeral directors and volunteers. Okay. They graduate with a. Uh, associate's degree. Now, also in Mid-America, in, in uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana, across from Louisville, we started a bachelor's degree uh, for mortuary science. I think it might be the only one that's dedicated all their their uh, three and four hundred level courses are in mortuary science. <laughs> it was just uh, accredited, uh, I think, uh, finally in 17. So it's brand new, lots of students that, that have graduated and come back, lots of older folks that want to have a bachelor's degree have come back and they do it online to get their bachelor's degree. So, I don't know if you want to talk to any of our other folks here uh, without any with, without any pre-notice, kind of like you, you did to me. <laughs> you did great. All right. And if people want to learn more, is there an online? Yep, uh, www.wilbert.com. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gail.